G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and this is the Jazza Face Cake. And it was made by Chopper from the YouTube channel Cakes by Chopper, who I've met a couple of times and is a very talented cake decorator. And as he has taken the liberty to make my face into a cake, it is only fair that I make his face into a drawing. So this is going to be a video tutorial on the very fundamentals of drawing a cartoon face. Uh, if you're interested in seeing Chopper's Jazza Face Cake, make sure to click the annotation on the screen or the link in the description to go to his channel and make sure to check out his other videos. He's got some really cool stuff on his channel. So the fundamentals of drawing a human cartoon face. I begin with something I call construction lines, which is where basically I draw very simple shapes and put them together in what will end up being the face. It kind of makes something of a pseudo skeleton. So as you can see here, I've got a circle which is acting like the main part of the skull and then this extension area down the bottom here, which is going be the jaw. Now it's okay that it's scribbly, we're just kind of roughing it all out and getting all the basics in there. So we've got our skull there. Next what I do is add a line down the middle. This is what I call a direction line. This dictates where the face is heading. And then I put a line horizontally across the middle of the face where the eyes are going to go and I call this the eye line. Now on my left here I've got a picture of Chopper from Cakes by Chopper and I'm going to be using this photo as a reference throughout this process and identifying the basic shapes of parts of his face and uh, converting that into the cartoon head. So first we draw the basic features, things like the nose. We want to make sure we're kind of keeping roughly the same proportions, but we're also cartoonifying, so really simplifying it here. So putting in the eyes, we don't want to go for exactly the same eye shape as we have in photos and things like that because then it ends up looking kind of pseudo real and we're going to be drawing a cartoon face today. Now one thing you want to keep in mind when you're sketching this process is to really focus on the shape of the face, the silhouette of parts of the face and what stands out. So for example, what stands out most to me in this picture of Chopper are his cheekbones. So I'm going to kind of make the cheeks pop out here and I'm going to accentuate that over on the left side here as well. I'm going to then go in and rough out his mouth. Now he's requested that he have a little more of an open tooth grin, which is fine. So I'll just kind of open out his mouth a little bit, give him a bit more of a, a toothy grin. And then we continue to follow around with the shape of his face. And we're pretty much getting the style that we're going for here. So we're getting this face to come together. I think the jaw kind of comes forward a little too much at the bottom. So I'm quite happy with how that looks. So now that we've got the rough face shape, another thing that really pops out is the eyes. So I'm going to make the eyes fairly large and uh, give him quite large pupils because you can see in this picture he's got quite prominent darker eyes. And next we're going to start doing the cat and as you can see we have a very clear line that we follow there. So I'm just going to do the same over here, follow that line around, continue with the silhouette and bring it out until it's finished. And there we go, we've got the very rough sketch of our chopper face here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my line work a bit lighter just so that it kind of goes into the background as a reference and I'm going to select a solid black line. And with it very slightly thicker, I'm going to go around where all my reference lines are and just find the solid lines that I'm going to follow. Now a question that I get a lot is what program am I using because some people notice that it smooths out the lines for me. This program is called Adobe Flash and it's a vector based art program. So it's not your kind of general bitmap art program. It does smooth things out a little bit but it also can be quite uh, tricky to control sometimes. So it takes a little bit of practice and experience to work with but you get there in the end. So again, you Using the reference that we've drawn up, we're just following the basic shapes and silhouettes. Again, accentuate the cheek, have a bit of a cheek there on the left as well, and then having the cartoon features pop out. Now something to keep in mind is that less is more. You really want to focus on uh, nice smooth lines and also making sure that the shapes are really flowing well. So it's not so much about detail uh, or really putting in all the lines on a face or on a hat or anything like that. If anything, too many lines on a face or on clothing uh, can be quite distracting and also pull this weird area between like in the uncanny valley between realism and cartoony where it starts to look a little uncomfortable and always always be ready to adjust and fix things up as you go so don't be afraid of the mistakes that you make in fixing them so I might grab this here and uh, deselect some areas and just kind of bring the jaw along and back a bit just because I think it was jutting forward a bit too much. And now we're putting on the final lines. Now, something that people notice is that I do a lot of redoing and undoing. I do a lot of control Z and that's okay. You're really kind of finding your way around the piece as you go. And then finally, the very last lines of the picture are done. 
There we go. So we have our cartoon face. The next thing I'm going to do is color the cartoon face. Now something you can do when you're ready to do your coloring is use the eyedropper tool and just kind of pinch an area of skin that you think is about the right tone. So for the shadows I might kind of go something like this. Now in flash I select this brush area here when I have brush selected and move it to paint behind and that means whenever I use the brush it appears behind the brush work that I've already done. So now I can start drawing these line areas and filling them in. Now I feel like this is a little bit too pink, so that's fine. We'll just select this color wheel and just bring it up into a little more of a desaturated pink. There you go, so that's a bit better. And now I can outline where the shadows are gonna go. So this is my preferred method of coloring in in Adobe Flash, um, because basically you just kind of cut off the areas where the shadow is gonna be, and then you just kind of paint them in. Now, as you can see here, it's got a bit of a cheek highlight, so with my lighter color, I'm just gonna block off that area to leave it for the highlights, select a very lighter color, and then just put them there so we have our cheek highlights as well. And then next we want to, of course, put in our hair colors and then find our hat colors. So I've got a dark black for the bottom of the hat and then a bit more of a charcoal mid gray for the top of the hat. Now I notice there's a little bit of a shadow area I probably should have filled in, so I'm just gonna draw that in like here. As you can see, there's a little bit more shadow there. There you go, fill that in, and now I can just paint. And I feel like that looks a little bit closer to my reference picture. Now I can select my white, paint in the teeth and the whites and bubbles of the eyes, and then select a color, a nice rich brown for the eyes themselves. Now I'm nearly done, I've got all of the basics here and I can actually hide that and delete my reference lines. And now that I've got that there, I'm gonna add a layer on top where I'm gonna do two things. I'm gonna add some rosy cheeks because we can see we've got a little bit of a rosy cheek thing happening here. So I'm just gonna select a gradient. I'm gonna draw a circle gradient and I'm gonna change this so that the inside red is at about 5% or 6% alpha. And then the outside will be a red and at 0% alpha. And what that does is it makes this little red glow area and then I can just copy paste and put that on both sides of the face and we end up with a very slight uh, touch of red to the cheeks which is all you really need and then the other thing I'm gonna do is on the layer above it I'm just gonna select a random color which I suppose turns out to be green and I'm gonna highlight this area where facial hair would go now because we can see we've got a little bit of facial hair there we're not going to go overboard but we just want to add a kind of an illusion to the fact that it's there so then i replace that random color with a gradient and the top white part of the gradient i'm going to make a brown and i'm going to make it zero percent and then the bottom part of the gradient i'll make a brown again and i'll make that about ten percent and then when i deselect that you can see that there's a very light gradient at the bottom of the face so we have a little bit of rosy cheeks a little bit of uh, facial hair and it just adds that touch of connection between our reference picture and the character's face here. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, there we have Chopper from Cakes by Chopper. Thank you very much for watching and anyone who's come over from Chopper's YouTube channel to check out this video, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check out my other videos and uh, if you're interested, subscribe for more lessons. And anyone from my channel, if you're interested in decorating some awesome cakes, go to Cakes by Chopper or click the link in the annotation to follow at the end of the video to go check out the cake he made of my face. Thanks for joining me, ladies and gentlemen, and until next time, I'll see you later.